Okay, so the next piece of geometry that I want to bring into the scene uh, is this wall along here. And I just, um, just want to bring this in because I think it'll probably be the easiest, uh, the easiest piece to do. Uh, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this ground plane and I'm going to hit Control D. And you can see that we're now onto NURBS Plane 2. Uh, I'm going to hit E to go into the rotate um, mode and I'm just going to rotate this in the Z axis and I'll rotate it up until the the lines on the grid are parallel or pretty close to parallel with the um, with the vertical lines in our scene and uh, vertical um, for those of you who don't know is up and down okay so uh, that looks fairly close and if I travel forward and back along the timeline yep it seems to be sticking pretty close to those uh, to that vertical uh, limit there now the next thing that I want to bring in um, are these posts here uh, now I could sort of do these doors but uh, but I'm not going to because they are fairly flush uh, with this wall um, if I wanted to bring them in as uh, landmarks or as um, as suggestions of where these doors are, um, you saw how I did that with just that polygon plane of just snapping the corner points to those locators. Um, but for now, uh, uh, because this is more or less part of the wall, I'm, I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm going to focus on these um, these uh, columns here, these uh, square columns. And uh, so I'm just going to bring in a cube. Now I will um, scale this up and move this over here. And you can see that I am just sort of uh, free moving it in space at the moment. Uh, and I might just frame up on this object and I'll rotate around just so that I can get a decent view of this object here uh, so uh, with this um, object in view like that uh, I'm going to hold down D and C because I'm again going to move the origin point uh, now I could click on this line just so that I bring the origin point down to the center uh, of the uh, of the bottom square uh, but for now what I want to do is actually uh, snap it to this corner and the reason for that is that I'm actually going to be um, uh, I'm actually going to be positioning this this cube uh, based on this um, this corner here uh, rather than having to fiddle around with it in the um, uh, in the middle of this square uh, so with the origin point uh, or the pivot point, I keep on calling it origin, the pivot point at this uh, this corner I'm going to hold down C and I'll just click on the Y axis first and I'm just going to um, I'm just going to middle mouse drag around uh, this curve here just so that it's it's more or less level with this uh, this ground plane at this point uh, I'm then going to uh, click on this um, axis again I'll hold C and I'm going to click and drag around this point and so now it's sort of tucked in nicely with that uh, with that wall and uh, now I'll just bring this back in the Z axis until we get a fairly good um, uh, a fairly good uh, lining up with the uh, with the corner of um, where this door meets this this column. Now I'll just go to scale, and for now I'll just uniformly scale until the the outer edges are more or less in the right place. And uh, that's interesting. These these columns are not exactly square. Uh, they're actually a rectangular prism, to be technical. Uh, but they are sort of, uh, they're wider than they are sticking out from the wall. So the first edge that I'm going to focus on is uh, this one. 
In fact, what I might do is I'll just uh, scale this up so that we can see it a little bit, a little bit better here. Uh, so with the uh, with the uh, scaling it in X until it sort of lines up with that um, with that edge. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, just a fairly good sort of uh, close um, close look of that edge on that um, that corner there. And then I'm going to scale in Z until we are pretty much um, lined up nicely with that that far edge there. And now we can just sort of um, scale this up as far as we uh, as far as we want. I'll just come back to about this point, and I'll scale it up. And you can see that that column does line up quite well. And so. Um, in order to do this post, uh, hopefully I should just have to duplicate and move this down to there in um, in Z. And so we can move in to um, fairly close, and it looks like yes, that column has lined up fairly well. And so you can see that we have um, quite a bit of geometry um, set up that corresponds with the the actual architecture uh, in our footage and um, if we wanted to we could sort of put these columns uh, all the way down to the end of the wall and put another another one uh, back here if we wanted to uh, but for now I'm happy with just that and the last thing that we could do is we could um, uh, put a cube or something around this sort of central section here. Uh, in fact I might do that because uh, when we're actually doing the animation we want to obscure uh, anything that's here by anything that we see in this foreground here. And so um, in order to do that uh, having geometry there to um, to obscure it will probably be a good idea. Now, uh, just looking at this, I can see that we have this sort of these little indentations here, which may cause us problem when we're compositing. We may have to come back and revise our geometry for this. But for now, um, it should be fine with just a simple cube around it. So, bringing in our third cube, and we will scale this up and again I'm just going to move this out and um, uh, yeah I'll do the same thing I did before I'm going to bring it down to this corner here or perhaps I'll actually bring it up to this corner up here or perhaps I won't yeah I'll bring it there uh, because I want it to li line up with this ground plane uh, so with that um, with that done, uh, I'm just going to make sure that we yeah good okay I'm just going to uh, move this down to the ground plane and I need a place on the ground plane that's fairly close to the base of this uh, this little area here and so I'll hold down C and we have the y-axis selected I'm just going to drag around this area of this ground plane uh, I'm then going to um, okay knowing that it, it's at the right height I'm going to do my trick before, uh, like I did before and just control click on the height and make sure that I'm only moving this around in this these axes. I'm going to line up this edge with the the edge of this sort of enclosure here and I want to line up this edge uh, as close as I can to this part here so I'm just going to bring this over just a touch and then I'd, I'd sooner just sort of overshoot it just a little bit if anything and now I'm going to scale it and so I'll scale it up until 
this closer edge seems to be along there. I'll scale it in X uh, pretty much indefinitely. That's it. Um, anywhere after there should be fine. Uh, and I'm going to scale it in Z a little. Now, this is where we need to move around in our scene just to sort of see where our placement is incorrect. So with that I'm just going to hit W and I'm going to click on this x-axis. Now just remember that I, that x-axis is clicked. I'm going to come until we are more or less level with the side here and I'm going to middle mouse drag in the scene. Now we know that that axis is selected and this might also give us some indication of which of how our axis might need to be fixed fixed up so we can see that our y axis may need rotating just slightly but uh for now uh and because i know that this point is where our um our pivot point is i'm just going to line up that edge as close as i can to that uh pivot point uh, I'm also going to come back to here and uh, hitting R to go into scale I'm going to select the scaling in Y and when I'm about here I'm going to middle mouse drag up until we more or less have this edge completely covered so that should do it. Uh, now I'm just going to hit E so that I'm in rotate mode. Okay, looks like we're all over the place here. Which means that our height might not be at the right, uh, right angle. What I can uh, what I can confirm is how far over in X this box needs to be. And I can do that because we have, if I can just select it, we have a locator right there. You can see there's our tracker, track 12. So that tracking point is correct for the edge of this little box section here. Uh, so what I'll do is I will just select that and um, a cube, a polygon cube, sorry, a NURBS cube is simply a collection of NURBS planes basically uh, or a grouping. So I'm just going to select one of these and hit up and we're back to this point here. Uh, I'm going to hit W and I'm going to just click on this uh, x-axis and I'll hold down the V key and I'll move that around there and so we know now that we are in the correct place for it in the um, in the x-axis and now uh, if we move this along okay uh, and move this down. Uh, if we look now, yes, that's a that's a much closer um, match up with uh, uh, with our geometry. Uh, so uh, that's that's close enough for now because I am running out of time. Uh, I'll just go to rotate and I'll make sure that I have selected Y come back to where we're fairly level and I'm just going to rotate as close as I can there we go and I'm going to go to scale select Z come back just going to middle mouse uh, drag 
until we're more or less covering this box.